Hello YouTube, the Geeky Minecrafter here bringing you episode 14. Today we're going to take a look at redoing the chicken farm. I have spent a lot of time out there working on it and it hasn't gone very well. And since Einstein says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over and expecting a different result, well, I'm going to quit trying. I have tried it. It didn't work. I don't know if it's diversion or if something small that I'm doing wrong. But I did find another tutorial which I'm going to use to try to build a new farm. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have spent a little time decorating around the house. Let me take you up and show you what I've done in the sitting area of my house. I did add a fireplace and a couch and a, you know, a chair. That's just, you know, trying to make it a little bit homey. Oh, I did put some glowstone in. I've been down to the nether with my silk touch and have managed to come back with some glowstone and I thought I'd use it around the house. So the chicken farm's out that way and I am going to go out there and get busy on that. But I thought first I'd tool up, which means first unloading what I don't need. Oops, wrong one. Good grief. Uh, let's put this back and this back. Let's see, I'll need food. I won't need the igniter. Uh, I will need some cobblestone, so let's go ahead and get that. Since I'm working with lava, it's absolutely imperative that you don't go out there with <laughs> with wood, for example. I'll ignite that, and that you know that's that's no good. So, am I going to need my shovel? Probably. I don't think I'll need my axe. Okay, no, I think that's probably it. Um, let's go make sure I have uh, enough glass. I know I have some out there, but God, you never know. So glass and um, let's see, maybe some extra hoppers. How about um, I don't know if it goes well. I'm gonna need a few trap doors, so let, let's hope it goes well. I'll take uh, a couple of comparators and I don't know six red. These are. These are just in case. Like I said, I think I have some, some stuff out there. I was tooled up for the other one. So let's go see. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get in. Let's go geek out, shall we? Let's take a run through here. Let's see. Oh, one other thing I did off camera. Let's see. Let, let's go ahead and show you that before we run down there. One of the things I did off camera was I had come across a temple in my explorations, and it had a horse saddle in it. So I had set it aside. And on my next trip out, I did find a horse. So I convinced it to love on me. And I brought it back here and pinned it in with the sheep for a few minutes while I built him this barn. Now, I'm optimistic that there'll be future horse in my <laughs> horses in my future, so I've added some extra stalls. But here's my, uh, my horse barn. It's, it's not great. I threw it up really quick because I already had the horse here and needed to um, needed to make sure I had a safe place for him. You know what? I'm sorry. It's just impossible for me to pass this and not do my job. Which is kill these guys. Get some more happening. Sorry, this is just a part of it in Minecraft. Pretty much every time I walk by, I do this. I could have gotten more on that one. I don't know why we didn't. Let's see. Can we aim? Okay, that's enough. Let's put this back up. Okay, let's let them accumulate. And let's head up and see the chicken farm. So sorry for the side note. Uh, again, every time I come out here, I make it a point of uh, breeding them so that I always have plenty of leather and, and meat. Uh, steak is one of the best foods in the game, and we are all about the steak here at Geeky Minecrafter. So as you can see, I have a bunch of eggs here. I know that's really loud. Tell you what, let's um, let's turn that down a bit. Friendly creatures, we'll bring them way down. 
Hostile creatures, we can bring those up since we're not in the um not in the XP farm. The XP farm guy gets really loud. So it's a good idea to keep the volume turned down while you're in there. Okay. So if you'll remember, this is where we're at. <laughs> I haven't been out here in a couple of days. I do have, uh, as you can see, I have quite a few eggs stacked up because I've got the breeder cells going. And they're popping down here, which is what they should be doing, but the lava's not firing, which is a bad deal. So I'm not going to tear this one down yet. I'm Call me insane, but I'm convinced that data's design should work on my version of the uh, PC Minecraft. So I do intend to come back and start this. I'll tell you what I will do, though. I will go in and kill all the chickens right now so they won't make a bunch of noise. Maybe we can just let them out. All right, guys. I'm sorry. You're just too noisy. Look at all those chickens. There's a lot of chickens in there. So, which tells me, you know, it's an effective farm, and having the bigger container is definitely what I want. The The new chicken farm that I'm going to be building is a lot smaller and probably won't have the same production that this bigger one that Data built uh, does. But... I just can't get it working, and Data, you know, if you were to take pity on me, take a look at what I've done, look at that earlier video, I would, I would so appreciate it. I'm just, it should be better than this, and I don't know why it's not. Okay, it looks like it's starting to get dark. I guess I better, um, throw down my bed over here. Actually, I'm, I'm up high enough, they shouldn't be able to get up here. Never mind, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Okay, so let's extend this platform out. Uh, make ourselves a little bit of room to work on the new one. I may tear down the old one again. I, depends on if Data takes pity on me or not. Uh, help me figure out what I've done wrong. Okay, this should be wide enough. The, the new farm is only three wide, and it's like eight long, so I, I probably have plenty of room here. Okay, so three wide. Let's lay it out. Let's put the start right here. So one, two, three wide. I'm going to go ahead and, and lay the base, you know, the, the exterior. Um, I do want a hopper chain. Because I am going to go to a storage room. I, I know the original design of the other guy didn't have anything to do with hoppers and, and moving them along. It just put them right into a chest. Uh, and I do want to do things a little bit differently. So, okay, the original design calls for, oops, sorry, a chest right here. Which, good grief, I have downstairs. I need to get that. Come on. I wish somebody would tell me what I'm doing wrong. Oh, what I'm doing wrong on the um, ladders. Uh, let's see if it's in this chest. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, just a couple. Again, the goal here is to see if I can get it working. And uh, if I do, you know, replicate it. So there is a chest right here. Oh, well, good grief. Uh, a hopper right here. Tell you what, let's get a few things set up here. I won't need the trap doors just yet. I don't need the meat just yet. We're going to throw these chickens away. Okay, so one hopper. Oh, I forgot my half slabs, didn't I? Good grief. You'd think I would be a little better prepared. I'm not even sure I have half slabs down here. But we'll check. Um, <laughs> I have one. Good grief. How about in here? No. Tell you what, let's put some of this up. 
Uh, let's make some half slabs. That cobblestone will work, right? Two, three, four. That should be enough. Twenty-four should be enough for this first one. I'm okay. Try this again. So the design calls for a half slab right on top of the hopper, and that's so that the eggs can flow down. Underneath this hopper, I'm sorry, uh, on the back of this hopper is a dispenser. So there's a temporary block, and then two dispensers go here. Okay, so this is a temporary block. We are going to knock it out, and on top of this block goes a dispenser. And we want it pointing towards us. This is the one that's going to dispense. Oops. The lava. So I tell you what, let's get this rid of this for a second. There we go. And there's another one right on top of it. Oops. Like this. So this bottom one will hold lava. The top one will catch the eggs that the the laying group is going to lay into the hopper above, and they're going to flow down into this. It's going to shoot them out into this chamber, and uh, we're going to get cooked chickens down below. So the lava has enough room to flow out of this hole. We also need another hopper. Let's get rid of this block. It was a temporary block. We need another hopper pointing into this bottom uh, dispenser, like this. Let's make sure it's pointing the right way. It is. Now, I didn't bring a piece of carpet, uh, and that's okay. I think the game has been updated to not allow them to glitch here, but just in case, you know, um, the recipe calls for a piece of carpet on top of this hopper. So underneath this hopper, at this location, is a block, and on that block is a comparator. So let's get up here. Let's go right here, point it that way. So now, I see I need another temporary block. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Temporary block, block. On top of this block is the redstone torch. And I, I'm speaking mostly to myself here. Again, this is not meant to be a tutorial. I am not a guru <laughs> on this stuff. I am barely holding my own. Okay, so let's get rid of these two blocks. I, I, I probably don't need to, but I just want to follow his recipe exactly. So, okay, we've got the temporary block here. Now, we need to do two blocks, one right here and one right here. So I need a temporary block here. And then on top, and I don't need this one, I need a block right on top of that torch, and I think I can place it like this. Is that right? No. How about come over like that, and then get rid of it. It's a little bit different when they do it in uh, survival mode, or creative mode, and I have to do everything in survival mode. Okay, we need, see, there's one over that torch, and then there's one here. Well, I stopped to consult the plans, and I think I've got this right. But I also think there's one more block that I'm seeing right here. So, not there. Let's use a temporary block to get it up there. Okay, and I believe there is redstone on... this one? Is that right? Let's see. I gotta go up. I need to see it from above. Those people that use creative mode to show you all this, they, they don't think about what it looks like differently. So, okay, there's that block. It's got a torch on it. Then these two. And there's redstone on this one. Okay. It's burning. And there's a torch on the side. Right there. That reverses it. And then, okay, let's take this down. Yep, that's looking right. Okay, so off of this, I need a block on top, so I'm going to have to do a temporary block. One here, and... Oh, okay. Let's see, how can I do that? I'm going to have to go up from here. Alright. One here. We don't need this one. One here. We don't need this one. Oh, 
Oh, no. Okay, that was all just to get a temporary block right there. Good grief. Okay, so there's a block over that torch, and then there's one in front of it right here. Like that. I don't believe either one of these are necessary. I'm going to take them out just for right now so I can see what's going on. So do I have a piece of redstone right here? Okay, so let's just review. One, two, three. Yep, that looks right. That looks right. So what is this block for? Anybody? Anybody? All right, let's put a lava in here. And let's drop an egg in there. I don't have an egg. Of course, I got rid of all the eggs, remember? Okay, hold your... Cross your fingers. Oh, good grief. Oh, that could have been bad. I did not... <laughs> oh, that could have been so bad. You see my mistake? I didn't have a place for the lava to go. That, that really could have been bad. Uh, let's put some glass <laughs> up here. Oh my god, that could have been bad. Let's see. I do not want to catch on fire, but the goal is anything that's in there is going to be set on fire if something drops into this. Oh, am I missing? Nope, I burned it out. Good grief. Okay. See, I don't know what this one's for. Oh, it's to cut the redstone signal. Here, let's get up here high. Okay, so the theory is anything that hits the hopper fires this comparator. The comparator fires into this block, which has a torch on it. On top of that torch, oh, I should I should have stepped down instead of fallen, for the love of Pete. Okay, anything on that torch fires, it fires that one, which reverses and turns that one on. It goes through this block and goes into this. This block is enough to power... Oh no, it should be one one more forward. Yeah, this block should be right beside this. Really? Okay, I'm going to pause the video and go consult the notes again. Okay, good grief. Uh, I told you we were going to geek out, and I was so wrong. I've looked at this thing... A number of times. Now I finally have it according to the picture what it should be. Let me just uh, pull that up for you. Let's see, that's uh, right here. Nope, that's one of these others here. So this is the left one. Okay. So this is what it's supposed to look like on the chest side, right? And then this is going to be the final. Give me a second. Okay, so f counting from the chest, this is block one, two, three. So at the third level, I should have my two hoppers and redstone. Fourth level, I should have a block above. And there should be a comparator down there underneath. On the fifth block, the torch and the redstone, and then the two over here. So a as you can see from my model here, that's what I have. Let's let's get up here where you can see it. Oh, good grief. I gotta be careful in there. That's lava. Okay, so one, two, three, and then there's the redstone on top and the two hoppers. Next level is where the comparator is. Then there's the torch, redstone, and underneath here is the torch. And this is what he's calling the burnout clock. So when this redstone is on, this torch is off when this redstone turns off, which it will when that torch turns off, which it will when that comparator fires, 
then this redstone will turn on, firing this top one, which is going to shoot the um, shoot the chicken eggs out. Okay, so the theory here is it's going to shoot both, but one is going to be a little bit faster than the other. The egg is going to be a little bit faster than the lava. So what I've done is I've wired it up, I've matched it, I've put my uh, trap doors in, and I have chickens in here. And they're not big enough to start laying eggs. Let's see if we go ahead and take this out. Oh, good grief. Come on. Do I have any more eggs? I don't have any more eggs. I, I've i spent all the eggs that I went and picked up trying to get some chickens in there. Let's go, let's go do that. Let's go grab some more eggs. Now this is a painstaking process. Uh, here, I'll put this in here for right now so I can get some more eggs. Because it takes quite a few eggs uh, for us to get the, you know, the chickens. So let's go up here. Oh, just jumped right over it. Now we may have to wait just a few minutes for the chickens to grow up. Uh, in which case I will... Oh, good grief. Uh, really? Did you hear something clicking? Now remember, these are going to be my breeder cell. So, theoretically, once I have all the chickens in here, I'm... I'm done with this. I can block this off with a half slab or a trap door or whatever. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I want to do this now before I get all the chickens in there. Yeah, I ran into a problem just a minute ago when I tried to replace this block with a full one because when I was throwing them in, they were escaping. So I tried to uh, replace that box, and what wound up happening was these chickens all started escaping. I, you see them all jumping over there. Uh, it it took me a second to get the chickens uh, to stop being able to escape by putting this back on. So this is going to go fast. <gasps> oh, I got it. Whew. All right, let's do this one too. Yeah, get them calmed down. Actually, let's move this a little closer so I don't have to wait so long. Oh, that was close. I want to be able to do this one too. Just because the chickens are big time jumpers, man. They can jump really high. Let's get rid of this for a second. Oh no, oh no, oh no! It won't let me put the block down. Come on! <laughs> okay, yeah, that was fun. I need a temporary block. Good grief. Yeah, that was... That was stupid. I know better. Okay, but now I have all four blocks tall here, and that's that's what I wanted. I know his recipe calls for um, half slabs, but I find the chickens to be escape artists. So I like... I like to go up, and I, I should have caught that before. One more. Do you think we can do it? <gasps> okay. That must be a half slab right there. It is. Okay. So the theory here is <laughs> they're not going to be able to escape. I'll quit falling in, which I have done more than once this this episode. Um, let's see, that's a full slab, that's a half slab. Who's... What's going on over here? Why are they running? Why are they dying? This didn't fire, did it? Nope. I'm going to wind up having to take that down. I just know it. Okay, so I do have a few in here. The theory is they're going to lay me some eggs. Um, I'm sorry, they're, they're going to grow up. And they're going to become big chickens. And when they're big chickens, when the chickens in this cell above uh, lay eggs, the thing is going to fire. We're going to get some... Uh, we're going to get some chickens. We're going to get some cooked chickens. Okay. 
Try this again. I had all those chickens in there and they're all gone. Okay, grow up, start laying eggs. Come on, get busy. Okay, I'm going to pause the video right here. I'm going to go get a bunch of chickens in, the, in this breeder cell. And then hopefully we'll be able to uh, monitor what's going on in here. What I really want, you know, it should be firing. When I get eggs in there, it should be firing. Let's try that. See that should have fired. Oh, I got a little, I got a little puff. What? Tell me this one's not working too. It's just I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, it's got lob in there. Let's try that one more time. Let's drop an egg in there. See, it didn't... I didn't get lava flow when I should have. Good grief. Oh yeah, it's down in this chest. Okay. Okay, I'm two for two. So it's either the version of the game, the mechanics have changed, or I'm an idiot and can't follow simple directions. So let's let's try taking all these off one more time. Because he put them on in a certain order. So let's try that. So this is this clock. I mean this torch. We have redstone right here. Which he put on top first. Then he said, next is the torch, which this negates. That'll fire that. I'm going to stand right here and wait for this to fire. can't open that one. That's where the chickens are. Yeah, that should have fired. Okay. Alright, well. We're going to call this one another fail. Okay, you redstoners out there, you've watched the video. You see how I did it. I followed uh, his instructions. I'll put the link down below to the tutorial. Tell me, does that not work with the PC version 1.8.8? Feel free to give me a video response. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I'm going to go ahead and publish this video simply because I'm, I'm doing a universal call for help. There's got to be a, something I'm doing wrong and I'm just not seeing it. Is there a mechanic I'm not understanding? I mean, you know, take a moment. Let me know. If, if you know, let me know. And I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and put these back on and close this up so I don't fall in because that would be bad. And happened to me more than once. Okay. This is the ge geeky Minecrafter standing on top of failed chicken farm number two. Uh, if you've got an answer for me, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, um, you know, check back in. I'm going to keep working on it. There's, there's got to be a way. Till next time, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out. Happy mining!